So I just wanted to say uh, welcome to my podcast show, Q&A, whatever the hell it's going to be. I haven't really figured that part out yet. Um, it's basically an idea I came up with a couple nights ago. I'm going to ask a question. I'm going to post it. You guys are going to give me feedback. I'm going to share my thoughts on the feedback. And then at the end, I will answer the question with my own opinion. Um, but before we get really far into it, I just want to give you kind of an idea of who I am and and um, what I'm about and what I want out of this idea. So I've been playing games pretty much since I was a child. Um, I started with Nintendo. Uh, I was hooked on Zelda and Mario. Um, as I got older, I started playing things like Sims Online, um, the Sierra Network. Uh, Police Quest, Space Quest, King's Quest, Leisure Suit Larry. I moved from there. I jumped into Ultima Online, which was my first big MMO. And I started playing alts in that game. I think I had one guy who would do all my crafting for me and one guy who would do all my fighting. And then from there is where it all really kicks in. That, this is when it got to the obsession part. I got into Star Wars Galaxies. I was on the Cory server. Um, I love Star Wars. Uh, I played Yarg, the Jedi Knight. Um, I had to work for that. It was before the NGE, before the combat upgrade. I think I just turned into a Jedi right when they switched over to the first upgrade. And I got to see the village and stuff like that. But like that's where it all started. I was obsessed with this game. I was obsessed with getting Jedi. I pushed and pushed and pushed. I made alts. I had multiple accounts. I would buff myself. I, it was crazy, man. And uh, that that's pretty much it. You know, like when they closed down, I went right into right into Warcraft, and that became my next, like, obsession. And then I waited for uh, SOTOR to come out, and I got into that. And I play a lot. I, I love ESO. I love Red Dead Online. I love uh, Division 2. I love um, GTA. I, I, I play a lot of stuff. But my two big games are SOTOR and WoW. I love them. I are part of my everyday routine. I make alts. I have multiple accounts. But that kind of brings me to where I want this to go. Like my big thing is i'm ocd and i'm very ocd with the gaming um i was ocd back when i was a kid i always could just you know one track thought it was zelda i had to get those levels in zelda i had to finish zelda i had to complete zelda and it got that way in all of the games i play and now it's gotten progressively i guess worse <laughs> i have a love-hate relationship with alts alts is my big obsession so this is really gonna center around OCD gaming and, and alts, because those are the big things. I jump back and forth with the games too, and I get really crazy, because I don't know, I feel like I need to quit this, to play this, to do this, to do that. Um, I was out of control with Warcraft for a while. Before they had the uh, restores on all the characters, I was making characters, deleting characters, asking Blizzard to restore. It got to the point where Blizzard emailed me, and they were like, hey, hey, listen, Gaber, uh, we're not doing this anymore. Something funny is going on with your account. Like, you keep restoring, and you, you must be gold making. And I was like, no, I'm just OCD. <laughs> and, um, it's still that way. So I really want this idea to be about OCD and gaming because what I've realized through the community is that I'm not alone in this feeling and that a lot of us feel this way and we're OCD about many, many things. And alts are part of our everyday routine. And I've met a lot of people. I've read a lot of stuff and we all do it. You may, I might be a little bit crazier than the rest of you, but we all do it. And um, I think it's going to be a good concept, OCD gaming, and, and that'll be a great thing for a Q&A, and that, that's what I want to do. I really want this to kind of go that way. So we'll, we'll, you know, we'll definitely see how it goes. I got inspired by a lot of the podcasts out there and shows with the Q&A, and I just kind of wanted to make it my own thing. It's something I love and I'm passionate about. So uh, that's pretty much it. So before I even get into the first question today, I just kind of wanted to go over it all and let you guys kind of know what I'm about. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy it and we can do more. All right, cool. So let's get into the first question. So we're finally at the question and answers. So the first question is, why do you alt? That's going to be a fun question to answer at the end. And the first reply comes from Electric Smurf at Sound Wizard LLC. He says, I don't LOL. In single player, I like to play the game through with different classes. It's a different experience and sometimes you have a different story elements. Multiplayer, I guess it's good to have different classes for different groups. Honestly though, I typically only have one two that's worth anything and if I can't play that one, then I just don't play. <laughs> 
it's uh it's true i played with electric smurf and uh we'll go hey smurf do you uh do you want to do alts with us we're gonna go level up some alts well i only got one that character's max level but yeah but we're gonna go level up new characters i just want to use max level i've done everything i'm max level <laughs> but all joking aside i'm actually kind of jealous I can't play that way because it just doesn't work with my style. Like I always go back to wanting to have alt, so I, I can't do it. I, I wish I could, but I just I just can't. So I think it's really cool if you can, and uh, if you can play one and do it all, more power to you. Next one, I'm totally going to butcher your name. Let's let's just face that, El Elsa at Alitania. I like the name. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but I like the name. Lockouts, lockouts everywhere. That's so true. Um, if you've got a long list of alts, you can avoid lockouts because you'll just uh, be able to do it. 5, 10, 15. Now I'm going to keep looking up the door. 30, 40, maybe, maybe 50 times like me. <laughs> but yeah, in all, in all seriousness, it's, it's very true that you can avoid lockouts. But in the same, you could also bring yourself down because if you're like me and you set up characters at different uh, raids, old raids for transmog, you're let down 20, 30, 40, 50 times because you never get that amount of that transmog. But yeah, lockouts are, lockouts are a good reason to play alts. Next one comes from Shantyman Gaming at Shantyman Gaming. Why do you alt? He says, those sweet serotonin hits from the dings. <laughs> I laughed at that Chanty Man Gaming. I was in my office and I, it popped on my phone and I was like, that's pretty funny. Because it's it's true. I mean, it's you get like a rush. It's like that exercise rush when you're when you're trying to bench and you're you know, you're at the gym and you put a lot of weight on and you're like, Yeah, yeah, you just get all like worked up for it. And you get that from the ding when you're leveling, you'll you'll get that ding and then you're like, Yes, and you keep going and you just feel this rush and it's 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 so true. It really is so true. Next one comes from Console at Console. He says, I do it mostly to be able to provide other classes depending on what my friends need to group. I tend to spend time either healing and tanking most because there are more DPS friends, so I become better at those classes. Most games, you have to have a complete group to succeed. I also like trying other classes, but mostly it's to play with friends and help them get through content. I tend to like casters, so even when I tank, I end up with a hybrid like a pally so I can cast or melee. I tend to stay away from scout classes even though I dabble now and then. I mean, console's right. I mean, that's primarily if like you're in a guild, they want you to fill a role. Um, you're grouping with friends. You, you're like, hey, you need a healer, you need a tank, we need DPS. And then before you know it, you're doing it again and again. And before you know it, you're, you got 20 people and different things and you can just switch out and you can help whoever. And, I, hey, I got a tank. I can get on and help you level out a character. Oh, I can heal that for you. I can fill that extra DPS spot. So yeah, it's 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 true. And I think you get better at those because you learn how to play them. Um, you know, they helped me a lot. Like I dabbled into so many classes. I realized I was always a warrior for a long time in Warcraft. And I realized that I liked Paladin because I started dabbling in it more. And I think I like Paladin more than Warrior. And now they're my two mains. So yeah, I think it's it's true. It's it's very true. Next one comes from another name I will probably butcher. Talios at Talios1. Gotta make those experience bars go up and finish quests. I mean, yeah, it goes back to what Shantyman Gaming said. You uh, see that experience bar, you get that adrenaline rush, and it makes you want to finish the quest, especially when the low level quest is you get this big giant experience bar and it just boom, 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 right through. And it's uh, it's just a good feeling. That experience bar does push you through it. So next one. The next one comes from Scrubs versus the World at Scrubs SVS, which by the way, I just started listening to your podcast a couple days ago and you guys are awesome. Just to get a taste of what else is out there, playing different class spec race combos give the game some different angles to look at quests and other elements of the game through. I mean, yeah, yeah, without a doubt. Like, 
playing different classes and different combos is it gives you a whole different thing like one of the things i love about warcraft in, in death knights i realized when i made a night elf female death knight i loved how she swung the sword <laughs> maybe not stupid but like she swung the sword really cool and so did the males and they swung it different than my human or different than my my orc or or vice versa and um that's my dog in the background but anyway it's just like you know you get that different class combo you can switch out you can be a warrior fury warrior or you could be a protection warrior you just you get all those different combos and you can switch them all out and you can look at different classes from both sides i mean i love having a horde character and an alliance character and a sith character and a, um, a republic character because you get the different sides of the different stories so i think i think that's so true and i gotta grab a drink here real quick next one comes from emberia and she said mostly to get a more complete game experience trying different classes and races and some games the beginning gameplay is different because of race or in the case of eq2 or wow there was good and evil sides to play sometimes i can create an alt we need to certain class or give other players a chance to switch it up i mean yeah without you know without a doubt you you, you do sometimes need a certain class and you want to switch it up but there is that good and bad side and you want that other side of the game you know it's like in wow it's the same it's like i want the horde version well i want the alliance version and definitely in the case of star wars i mean you want to see it from both sides you get a totally different story so that's it's it's just gives you more of a game experience it's a more complete game although you know, she'll get on me sometimes when we're playing eso because i won't do everything and she's you're missing out on this game so <laughs> but that's what i'm doing i'm leveling alts <laughs> on to the next one charlie plays too much wow at chaswick more mounts alt on an opposing faction for mounts alt on each class for mounts alt on each shadowlands covenant for mounts more tunes to attempt rares dungeons raids for more mounts <laughs> charlie <laughs> i mean i guess this goes back with the with the lockouts you know answer it's uh, it's so true because the more alt you have the more chances at mounts you can get um the more covenants you can go into the more you know the the different raids you can jump into the different attempts you can make at dungeons um it's it's just the more characters you make the more chances you have at those mounts and it's kind of cool how in warcraft it's sometimes you can do it on like the horde side and it unlocks the alliance side it's 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 really nice it's cool i think it's a it's a great idea to have that and do that it's it's definitely worth trying next one comes from ahmed sumadai i said it right <laughs> simple answer for me is to get more money and more storage i have five tunes and only my main and my tank get any play time all others are mules used for daily writs for cash even though I don't use them as mules anymore since I have an entire guild bank to myself. <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, it's true. And it's not like I have banker guilds for all of my characters in every game I play. I, I might. Um, <laughs> it's, you know, you, you've, got your, you've got your mains. I have my three mains. But everybody else, you know, it's it could be used for different things you could use them to get yourself material for your crafting stuff you could use them to make money you can use them to build up um more chances at crafting stuff because you've got so much bank space so it makes it makes sense it's yeah it's it's a good reason to do it so the last one tonight comes from fred mcvan at fred mcvan he says i alt usually when i'm bored with my main when I have my guy geared and I hit a wall, so I level and I work on an alt. I mean, <laughs> he's he's got a point. I mean, it becomes kind of like a train, you know? It's like you just push, 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 push till you get to the end. And when you get to the end, you go, what do I do now? If you're not a raider, if you're not um, a gearer or you know somebody that's into story and you just want to keep pushing okay i want to get to my alt i want to have other options i want to be able to do this i want to do that i mean me the way my mind works i sometimes will go okay this one's max level who's next so i i definitely 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 get it so that would be uh that would be the last one
So that will be it for the Q&A with you guys. We're now at the part where I'm going to answer the question, why do I alt? Well, I mean, there's so many reasons for why I alt, but uh, I want to say one of my main reasons is to try to just get my head to relax and just get me to unwind. <clears throat> but I like the leveling process. I really like watching the character go from nothing, gray weapons, gray armor, you know, just a thought in my head to this actual character in the game who's alive and real. And all of a sudden they've got great lightsaber, like, uh, you know, purple crazy looking lightsaber or some souped up really cool Judgment Paladin set. And here they are, they're 40 or 50, they're one shot and stuff in old raids. I just, I just love it. I mean, like I have this little story in my head for all of my characters, I guess it's head cannon. And the idea comes one night or one day and all of a sudden there they are and they're progressing and now they're real, they're alive, they're living in this world. And it just, it makes me feel really, really, really good. Um, the other reason why I feel like I alt is I, I just, I love the creating process. I love creation. I love the idea of the character and the story and making that real. And I just love to create. I mean, it's just what I do. I alt. Um, I'm very obsessed, like I said in the beginning with the, 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 this show. I have an obsession. I'm very OCD about my alts. Um, they're all I think about that go for days. I, I just feel as though at times I love and I hate them. And I'll post on the forums and I'll argue and I'll always come back to the same thing. I'm an alcoholic. It's never going to change. So uh, that's pretty much why I alt. But um, that was fun. That was That was a real blast. I had a really, really, really good time. So that was pretty much it. Um, I wanted to thank you guys all for participating on Twitter, uh, answering the question, getting involved. Um, I had a blast. Uh, this I don't know what this is going to be, but it definitely seems like something I'm going to keep doing. Um, if you're looking for me, I'm Caber76 on pretty much all platforms. Um, if you really want to get a hold of me, Twitter is the place to go. I, I'm, I'm on there all the time. So uh, I'm going to post another question probably at the end of the show or after I post it. And hopefully you guys will get back to me. Um, we'll do this again. Maybe I'll get more people. Who knows? But it was, it was awesome. Thanks again. I'll see you all next time.